Hi guys, welcome to this yoga fit session for loving your thighs. Yes, we are going to be focusing on the thighs today with a nice juicy session, your leg day practice if you like. Um, so let's get started, let's jump right in. Okay, so we are going to start to warm up first of all. So let's get ourselves nice and juicy and warm, get those legs firing, those thighs moving and grooving. The great thing with working on the thighs is quite often you might also work a little bit on the glutes with things. So we're going to have the glutes and the thighs firing throughout this session. So let's begin. I want you to make sure that you're breathing as you are moving. So I'm going to keep prompting you on that, but keep finding your breath, keep breathing. And that's going to bring oxygen and energy to your body, the more that you can breathe. So we're going to start with some marching and then a few postures as well. So start marching on the spot. I'm going to come to the side just so I can show you some of the moves. So taking some breaths in and out. And back in and back out from here open the legs wide and you're just going to take some little squats down and up down and up so send the hips back almost as if you're about to sit on a chair behind you come back to that marching open the legs wide back into the squats down and up down and up, down and up. Back to your marches. One more time with those little squats. So open the legs wider and then sit back and up. One more. Come back to your marching. And this time you're gonna open up the legs wide and we're gonna come into a little lunge pose. So. You are literally going to take a bend in that front knee and try and lower straight down. So you're not trying to move forwards or back. You're really trying to lower just straight down. Swap onto the other side and three on this leg. Ooh, got the wobbles. Again, the nice same pace. Come back in, come back to that marching. I can already feel my legs powering, which is amazing. So come back onto that lunge, three little pulses down and up, swap onto that left side, keep breathing, come back to the marching. We've got one more of these before we get really into it. So come back onto that left side. One more, swap over, and then step the feet together, nice slow march, find your breath, open the feet to about hip width distance apart, take a nice deep breath in, rise the arms up. As you breathe out, you're going to fold forward. So literally open the arms, bring the hands down, soften through the knees. So have a nice little bend through the knees. And you're going to actually drop the head down. From here, I want you to rock from side to side. So if you can't quite reach the ground, you can bring your hands onto your legs. Or you could pop a little cushion, some yoga blocks, something in front of you. Because what I really want is to make sure that you get a nice release through the backs of the legs and also through kind of the spine and the back a little bit here and through the neck as well. So you're just basically rocking from side to side. Feel free to get the knees really involved. You're kind of nice little sway going on through the body. And then if it feels comfortable to do so, um, if it doesn't, just leave your hands where they are. But if it does feel comfortable, take hold of each of the elbow. And then again, just rock from side to side. Have that nice little sway. Legs can be going as well. And then bring the fingertips back down. Reach out to the sides as you breathe in, lifting all the way back. Unfold from the hips. And then exhale the arms all the way back down. From here, I'm just moving myself around so I can show you. So just stay where you are. 
take a nice big breath in, you're going to sit back down into that squat, but also what you probably know as chair pose, and then lift all the way back up. You're going to come back down, breathe in, lift up the arms, lower down, breathe out, lifting back up. One more time, breathing in, breathing out. From here, you're going to step your left leg back. Nice and far behind you, leave the back uh, heel lifted, take a breath in, rise up through the arms and you're just going to lower down into a little bit of a lunge from your warrior one. So two times and then once more and then you're going to open up the arms and pivot on that back foot so that your feet come into that little backwards L shape into your warrior two. We're going to pause here and take nice deep breaths. From here, I really want you to be squeezing through the thighs and the glutes. So make sure you're pressing the toes down into the ground and really squeezing through those muscles. One more breath. From here, we're going to step back forwards. So you can bring the arms down or you can leave them out to the sides. We're going to step the feet back together to the top and then we're going to go again. So take a breath in, sit back into that imaginary chair, breathe out, lift up. Really drive through the legs as you hold, drive through the legs and the glutes as you lift back up one more time. Step back, left leg back, leave the heel lifted, and then breathe out, sink into that lunge. You can move the arms up and down, or you can leave them lifted. It's kind of completely up to you. Just make sure you're driving through those legs. Open the arms and the legs, pause in that warrior two pose, breathe. Squeeze through the legs, press the toes down. And then from here, step the leg back in. And we're going to start one more time. So rise the arms up, lower down into that little chair squat. Lift up, lower down, lift up, lower down once more. Lift up, step the left leg back, come into that lunge. Feel free to lift and lower the arms or just keep them high as you do your three pulses down. Open up the arms, pivot on the back feet, come back into your warrior two pose, press the feet down, squeeze the thighs and the glutes. And then from here, step the legs back in. Take a big breath in and back out. One more, breathing in, breathing out. We're gonna just get this a little bit warmer. So take the arms up, lift and lower into that little chair pose. You're gonna do three little pulses and then lift up, coming back down. Again, three little pulses at the bottom, lift back up. Really drive through the legs as you lift up. Three last pulses, lift back up. Again, you're going to stretch out, send that leg behind, come back into that little lunge pose. We're going to do three little pulses at the bottom and then lift back up. Three little pulses and lift back up. One more time. And lift back up. Open the arms out. You're going to pause in your warrior two pose. Lower the arms down. Come back into that center position for a minute. Send the feet forwards. Take a breath in. Rise the arms up. Breathe out. Lower them down. Breathing in. Breathing back out. So we're going to repeat this on the other side. So then stepping to the left side, we're going to start again from the beginning. So firstly, we're going to go up and down through those poses. So take a breath in, rise the arms, sit down into that chair, lift back up, coming up, 
dry through the legs. One more. From here, step the right leg back. Come into that little lunging pose, that warrior one pose. Three little pulses or little drops. From here, open the arms out, take a bend in that front knee. You're coming into your warrior two pose on this side. Pause here for a moment. And then step back to the front. From here, come back into that position, feet separated about hip width distance. We're gonna come back into that chair pose and lift up. Down and up. Down and up. From here, step back with the right leg. Lift the arms. We're gonna drop down, drive back up, drop down. Drive back up, drop down, drive back up one more time, open the arms and then come back into your warrior two pose, pause, breathe. And then step back to the top. We're gonna do it one more time with those little pulses. So take a breath and reach the arms up. You're gonna pulse at the bottom, one, two, three. Drive back up. One, two, three. Drive back up. One, two, three. Drive back up. Step the leg back. One, two, three. Standing tall. One, two, three. Come back up. One, two, three. And then open up to your warrior two. Pause and breathe. Lower the arms down. Walk the feet to the front. Take a breath in, reach the arms up. Breathe out, fold forward, soften the knees, come down onto the ground, and then you're gonna come onto your knees. From this position, you're gonna take a breath in, reach the arms up overhead. Breathe out, lower them back down. And you're gonna come up onto the knees as you breathe in. Breathe out, lower down. One more, breathing in. Breathe out, lower down. This time, you're gonna come up. Breathe out, lower down, send the arms behind you, fingertips on the ground, and then just send the chest forwards. Coming back up, breathe out, fingertips go behind, press the chest forwards. Come up once more. This time, bring the fingertips behind, and you're actually gonna lift the legs up, so you're getting a nice stretch through the fronts of the thighs. Come back down, we're gonna do one more of these, just like that. Fingertips come behind, stretching out. Lowering down. From here, we're actually going to send the legs out to the side, extend the legs in front of us. Take a breath in, reach up. Breathe out, fold forwards. See if you can catch hold of the legs, the knees, the ankles, wherever you get to here. Just pause and you can just literally look forward. We're stretching out through the backs of the legs, really, here. If you need to, you can take a little bend through the legs but see that you can get a nice stretch going through the legs here. Come all the way back up and then we're done. So well done guys for completing that video. You did a great job, no doubt. And hopefully that was a really good session to target your thighs. So I hope they're feeling a little bit um, warm and uh, worked out. Um, and hopefully you won't ache too much, but it's a great little video that you can repeat a couple of times over if you wanted to You could sort of do it a couple of times a week um, It's a great addition to your yoga just making sure you're really using the muscles and not just stretching out um, And just getting flexibility You really want to make sure that you're also getting muscle tone in your legs as well because they're so Important so 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 important for walking standing all of those things so 
Hopefully you enjoyed that video. Feel free to share your feedback and I can't wait to see you on the next one. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Take care guys. Bye.